Can you name the spooky song? In today's quiz, we will go through 40 more songs that, like Rockwell's Somebody's Watching Me, have some sort of spooky theme. The theme is a bit loose, but as long as the title or sound of the song is somewhat spooky, Halloween-y, evil, or just a bit questionable in nature, then I think it qualifies. Before we begin though, don't forget to like and subscribe for a bonus point. Good luck! She likes the boys in the band. She says that I'm her all-time favourite. Begin with Rick James' 1981 hit Super Freak, which has been covered and sampled in a number of songs since. In 2009, She Wolf was a title track on Shakira's eighth studio album. Because of mine. I put a spell on you. There's been plenty of recordings of I Put A Spell On You that's been released as singles or used in media, but it was Screaming Jay Hawkins with the original in 1956. Cliff Richard topped South African charts in 1976 with Devil Woman. Voodoo Child was originally on the Jimi Hendrix Experience 1968 album Electric Ladyland, with a song not released as a single until after Hendrix's death. Sugar Babes got to number one in the UK and Belgium with their version of Freak Like Me in 2002, originally by Adina Howard in 1995, and the song samples Chiwe Army's 1979 are Friends Electric. Susie and the Banshees included Spellbound on their 1981 album, Juju. Judas was a worldwide top 10 hit for Lady Gaga in 2011, with a song, at least as far as I could find, not topping charts anywhere.
Bad Moon Rising by Creedence Clearwater Revival was kept off the top of the US charts by instrumental love theme from Romeo and Juliet. Number one hit, Bring Me To Life, was a 2003 debut single by Evanescence. I never dreamed that I'd meet somebody like you. What a wicked game to play to make me. Chris Isaac included Wicked Game on 1989 album Heart Shaped World. Working in the lab late one light, when my eyes beheld an eerie sight. My surprise. He did the match. He did the monster match. The monster match. Bobby Pickett released Monster Mash in 1962, with the song still apparently generating one million dollars every year in royalties. Hello darkness, my old friend. Within the sound of silence. Simon and Garfunkel's 1964 hit Sound of Silence was added to the National Recording Registry in 2012. Why do you care for me when we all fall asleep? Where do we go? Ah, bury a friend, try to wake up. Ah. Billie Eilish gained platinum or higher certification in at least 16 countries with 2019 single Bury a Friend. Daryl Hall and John Oates got to number one in the US and Spain with 1982 hit Man Eater. Well, I one long horn and one big eye. It was a one-eyed, one horn flying purple people eater. One-eyed, one horn flying purple. American singer Sheb Woolley topped the Australian charts in 1958 with Purple People Eater. Soul Meets Body was Death Cab for Cutie's first song to have mainstream success in 2005. All of times An inevitable inclusion in this quiz is Don't Fear the Reaper, which Blue Oyster Cult included on their 1976 album, Agents of Fortune. Poison was a bit of a comeback song for Alice Cooper in 1989, reaching the top 10 in a host of countries around the world.
Steve Miller Band got to number one in at least eight countries with Abracadabra in 1982. Demons by Imagine Dragons has been streamed 2.4 billion times on Spotify. Pleased to meet you. Hope you guess my name. Courtesy. Rolling Stones included Sympathy for the Devil on 1968 album Beggar's Banquet. The Pretty Reckless 2010 hit Make Me Wanna Die has been used in lots of film and TV, including things like Vampire Diaries, Gossip Girl and Supernatural. Duran Duran won the first Best Music Video Grammy in 1984 with Hungry Like the Wolf. Dracula was the lead single on Rob Zombie's 1998 debut album, Hell Billy Deluxe. Women seem wicked when you're unwanted, streets are uneven. People are strange when you're a stranger. The Doors topped Canadian charts in 1967 with People Are Strange. Werewolves of London in 1978 was the only real hit for Warren Zavon. Kendrick Lamar and Taylor Swift collaborated in 2015 for platinum hit Bad Blood. Zombie has over 1.2 billion Spotify streams for the Cranberries. Black Magic Woman was first released as a single in 1968 by Fleetwood Mac. Santana had some success with a cover just a couple of years later. The 
Prodigy's 1994 hit Voodoo People uses a guitar riff based on Nirvana's song Very Ape from the previous year. Rihanna won a Best International Song Award in 2009 for Disturbia. The smell of death is on the rail, and at when the cold wind blows. Don't wanna be buried in a pet cemetery. The Ramones included Pet Cemetery on 1989 album Brain Drain. Too much fighting on the dance floor. This time. Ghost Town was a 1981 UK number one for the specials. Dead Man's Party was the title track on Oingo Boingo's 1985 album. The song was also used in the film Back to School the following year. Skin makes me cry. But I'm a creep. Creep was a successful 1992 debut single for Radiohead. Another inevitable inclusion is Michael Jackson's Thriller, which is one of the best-selling singles of all time. Very different to the voodoo child we had earlier on in the quiz is the Road Traders 2005 single which uses a riff from Elvis Costello's Pump It Up. Stevie Wonder's 1972 hit Superstition was inducted into the Grammy Hall of Fame in 1998. I ain't afraid of no And we end with probably the most obvious inclusion, Ray Parker Jr's 1984 Ghostbusters. So that's the end of this Spooky Songs music quiz. How did you get on with this one and are there any other spooky songs that you can think of? Let me know in the comments and while you're there, don't forget to like and subscribe for the all important bonus point and to avoid anything spooky from happening to you. Thank you very much for playing along and I'll see you again soon for another squeeze.